what is the best adrenal fatigue diet? Well, let's have a look. Hey guys, Uriel Kame here, New York Times bestselling author of The All Day Energy Diet, renowned holistic nutritionist and health expert, and the man to help you live a healthier, fitter, and more prosperous life. Here, we are gonna look at what should you be eating if you have adrenal fatigue, and the number one drink you have to avoid if you are dealing with adrenal fatigue, or just you want energy in general. So adrenal fatigue, just in case you're unaware, is a condition whereby the adrenal glands are kind of worn out. The adrenal glands are two little walnut-shaped glands that sit on top of your kidneys and they help you deal with stress. They pump out adrenaline and cortisol to help your body deal with the stressors of life. But over time, with chronic stress, they can quickly become worn out and that leaves you feeling exhausted and pretty crummy. Okay, so how do we bring them back to life? Well, I've created another video specifically on the supplements for adrenal fatigue, and you can check that out in the description afterwards. But here, I wanna talk about what you should be eating and the one thing, the one drink you have to avoid. So with adrenal fatigue, one of the important things to remember is that you wanna be eating pretty frequently throughout the day. Now, this is in contrast to what I normally talk about. As you've, you know, if you've watched any of my other videos, I'm a huge believer in intermittent fasting, eating less, uh, not to the point of obviously deprivation and starving or you know doing that stuff, but basically saying you don't have to be eating five or six times a day to achieve your weight loss goals or even your muscle gain goals in some cases. However, adrenal fatigue is a little bit different. Adrenal fatigue, because it is a condition that is gonna impact blood sugar levels and how you feel in general, you wanna be eating frequently throughout the day, but again, not stuffing your face. You just wanna be eating when you're hungry stopping when you're about 80% full. So you wanna to listen to your body, tap into it, and just kind of nourish yourself on some snacks and some meals a little bit more frequently than if you didn't have adrenal fatigue. Because part of the problem here is with adrenal fatigue, you're gonna have a tough time regulating normal blood sugar levels because cortisol is compromised and cortisol, one of its functions, is to help you regulate healthy blood sugar levels. But if you have adrenal fatigue, then that's not gonna happen as much. You're gonna go through these like, dips where you need something to kind of bring you back up and the easiest way to do that is just by eating more frequently throughout the day. Now with that said, what should you be eating? Well, it's really simple. Just eat a quality whole foods diet. Like there's no magical foods that you need to be consuming uh, or, or really kind of paying attention to. Just focus on quality whole foods, right? Lots of fibrous green vegetables, right? So all the leafy greens, the brassica vegetables, because here's what they're gonna do, is they're gonna help bind a lot of toxins and remove them out of the body, which reduces the stress load on your body, which is gonna help your adrenals. They're also gonna give you a ton of nutrients, vitamins, minerals that your body needs that are super important to support the adrenal glands, like vitamin C, magnesium, some of the B vitamins. Um, you can even also use, we've got an amazing greens powder called Energy Greens, which can help you increase your greens intake in the first place. Um, but that's the first thing, okay? Second is we wanna look at including what I call clean proteins. Now, clean proteins can be animal proteins or they can be plant proteins. It doesn't really matter whatever's gonna work for you, okay? So the clean proteins are essentially things that are pesticide-free, ideally organic, pasture-raised, all that good stuff. It can be red meat, chicken, whatever's gonna work for you. On the plant-based side, you wanna be looking at some really healthy legumes. Like I'm a huge fan of legumes and beans and I've talked about this in my best-selling book, The All-Day Fat-Burning Diet, that beans and legumes have gotten a really bad rap from the paleo community and a lot of it is unfounded because it has, they have tremendous health benefits because they're a great kind of like all-in-one package of carbohydrates, fiber, which is a type of carbohydrates, and protein. So when we look at things like lentils or pinto beans, cannellini beans, chickpeas, they all have about 20 grams of uh, protein per one cup, which is tremendous. So if you're not, you know, if you're more plant-based, focus on those beans and legumes. They're really, really powerful. And that's gonna give you more substance and that's gonna keep you full, it's gonna keep you satisfied, it's gonna really help your adrenal glands providing great quality nutrition. So those clean proteins are important. Next, we wanna look at what I call fit fats. So these are healthy fats that again, are gonna reduce inflammation inside your body. So we wanna look at things like coconut oil, fish oil, or algae oil for the DHA specifically. They're gonna help those omega-3 fatty acids are gonna reduce inflammation inside the body. If you're cool with butter, 
Butter is great as well. Just make sure that it's ideally organic, grass-fed, all that good stuff. Uh, because fats will, are going to really harbor a lot of the toxins in an animal. So if you're eating animal fats, just make sure that those fats are as clean as possible because otherwise your body is going to start to bioaccumulate those and more toxic load inside of you is going to be a further stress on the adrenals. So we're looking at coconut oil, maybe some butter, the omega-3 fatty acids like fish oil, algae oil, flax oil, hemp seed oil, those are all great. And we can also look at the monounsaturated fats like avocado oil. We can look at olive oil. Those are tremendous oils. Guys, don't be scared of fat. Be scared of the wrong type of fat, which are the vegetable oils, like the canola oil, a lot of the stuff you see in commercial use, like soybean oil, stuff like that. That's the stuff you want to stay away from. But the fats I just mentioned are tremendous for your health. And then you can also look at starchy carbs and fruits, okay? So fruit, a very high source of a lot of vitamins and minerals. There's nothing to be afraid of with them. They're really good for your health and they're gonna support your adrenal glands. The starchy carbs I think are really important for people with adrenal fatigue because they're gonna give your body some more substance, substance to work with in those periods of time when your body is not able to kind of break down its own energy reserves to stabilize blood sugar. So we can look at things like sweet potatoes, we can look at yams, we can look at some of the non-glutinous grains perhaps, right? So things like quinoa, maybe some buckwheat, some brown rice. Those are some great alternatives to add in. So if you're having, for instance, a piece of fish, you can have some steamed greens, a nice salad, and a side of uh, like kind of um, mashed yams or brown rice. That's a really simple, healthy dish. So it's really not earth shattering stuff here. It's all healthy, clean food. And that's really the foundation of any clean diet, especially if you have adrenal fatigue, because you want to support your body with the right nutrients, reduce inflammation and stress inside the body. And with that said, I want to share the number one drink you have to avoid if you have adrenal fatigue. And that number one drink is coffee and specifically caffeine. So if you're drinking black tea, the same thing applies, right? So you want to avoid the caffeine because caffeine is a major culprit and a major problem for adrenal fatigue because what it does is it is a big time stimulant, which is a form of stress on the adrenal. So when you drink coffee, the reason you feel energized is because that caffeine hits your adrenals and the adrenals pump out adrenaline and now you're like, you're ready to go. But that's very quickly followed within about an hour or so of a plummeting crash. So blood sugar levels drop, the adrenaline kind of drops out and then you feel a little bit kind of in withdrawal, a little bit like a zombie and you need more of that caffeine to come back to life. So a lot of people who have adrenal fatigue, it's kind of like hash 22 because a lot of people have issues with fatigue because they overdo the caffeine and then because they're so tired, they rely on the caffeine to feel temporarily alive. So please, if you're drinking coffee, move to a Swiss water decaf at the minimum. If you're drinking tea, it needs to be herbal, right? So non-caffeinated herbal teas are tremendous. And again, I would honestly suggest replace the coffee beans with energy greens. And I know it's a little rhyme. I tell my clients and customers, when your energy weans, drink your greens because greens are going to give you lasting energy, not the up and down roller coaster that you get with caffeine. Plus you actually get nourishment as opposed to stimulation. So focus on getting more greens into the body. And again, you can just add a scoop of this into water or in a smoothie. It's awesome. And it's much better, much safer, and again, much more nourishing than coffee is. So that's what you should be eating and the one drink to avoid if you have adrenal fatigue. If you've enjoyed this, I think you'll also enjoy a really cool resource I have for you called Fix Your Fatigue. It's a book uh, that's actually a very condensed short book that you can consume and get through in the space of 10 minutes. It will help you go from exhausted to energized in just seven days or less. And I know that sounds like a big promise, but it's the same protocol I've helped over half a million men and women with. And I know if you're a human being on planet Earth, it'll work for you as well. So you can grab the book, download it today for free. There should be a link on the video or in the description below. And while you're here, remember to subscribe to the channel because I've got tons more videos coming your way to help you live a healthier, fitter, and more prosperous life. So once again, thanks so much for joining me. I hope you've enjoyed this. If you have, give it a thumbs up, give it a share, and I will see you soon.